What's going on guys, Destro here. So in today's video, we're gonna do things differently. I'm gonna sound a little bit different. I am not using my main microphone. I am using the microphone on the webcam I'm using to record. All right, so you're gonna see some footage in the background that'll probably just be callous or trials or something like that to begin with. Uh, I've not decided yet, does I don't know what it's gonna be, but I'm gonna be in front of it obviously, cause I'm here right now. See me? I'm here, but I'm gonna show you some clips in a minute that, that really show you what I'm gonna do in the channel. So I really just wanted to make, uh, once a week, I wanna make funny videos. Um, just something funny that's different. That's not like, a, oh, it's funny cause I got so many kills, but taking something in Destiny or another game and then just showing like how it can be amusing. Um, there's a series I wanna make with the tractor cannon. Although mine was more PVE related that I wanna make, but just showing of just how disgusting this weapon can be in PvE. I'm going to make a video for that next week, not this week. Because this week, I'm going to do one that is how it feels to be a Guardian under level. And how it feels to be a Guardian at 300 or 305. You know what I get. Max level. And the reason is, it's because if you've ever gone into one of those dungeons under level. When I made a new character, before I got to switch my weapons and all that stuff. I decided I, I want to go see this... this uh, dungeon area and the lost sector and I decided to go into the lost sector that was rated 190 I guess as it told me when it killed me when they one shot at me at 120 I was one shot by everything and that lost sector took me like 15 minutes but I kept trying I I kept just grinding it out because it felt like a challenge I had to really think about what I was doing I couldn't just run in and smash everything like an angry juggernaut I couldn't and and that kind of felt good but it I felt like a bitch you feel you feel you feel pretty low like when you're slumping when you get kicked off the damn ship by gall but it was fun and it was it was something a little bit different but then when I came back in and I hit damn near max level on a 304 Titan you go in that same lost sector you activate one super and everything's dead so with that being said it, it's one of those things that is it's kind of like a humbling experience, but I want to just turn it into a completely funny video in a different way than what you're thinking. I'm going to use a, a different video that we all probably know and kind of make it Destiny-like. So once a week, I'm going to do that. After that, I do, will have, I plan on doing almost every day, weapon reviews, um, armor reviews, something of that nature, because those are popular on my channel. Those are what is growing my channel right now. So I can't stop what's growing my channel because I'm just not well known enough yet. If I talk about certain subjects that nobody, that people care about, but nobody cares about from me, because I'm not known, I'm not, my name is Bife, I'm not a known player, they're not going to watch, and my channel will just cease to exist. So I have to keep doing what people know. So like uh, the title says, if you love Destiny videos, please come back for more. Please come back, because we're gonna have different things that we've done. I've improved production in my videos a hundred times over from beginning to end, whether it be my intro, outros, I've become an animator myself, I'm a marketer myself, I've, I've done a lot of work to build up towards this. Um, all these programs, I have other cameras and other software, just this one's easy to use. Um, green screens galore, one behind me, there's one right there, and I just have production up. I only have my uh, one capture card break, my other one I sold because I was getting ready to move, I wasn't going to have my stuff. So now I'm waiting to get a new one. But right now I'm going to be using OBS. So we are going to start once we hit 5,000. Hopefully we hit 5,000 in the next few months to maybe the end of the year. Hopefully the next few months, but the end of the year, I'm going to be also starting my Twitch back up and we're going to be doing that regularly. So that's what I wanted to say. I want to say that yes, we are going to do some of the same. We are going to be that YouTuber that is doing re weapon reviews, but hopefully we do it in a different way. Because the big difference is how I do weapons reviews, some of them were not the greatest, some of them were really well done, is I'm gonna show you the weapon in an average scenario that every YouTuber would face. I'm not gonna show you the weapon with Sir Demetrius with no health somehow standing on a wall with getting kills. I understand that I respect him as a player, blah, 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 but his video made me want to fucking vomit because it's unrealistic. At no point should someone be that little health and not die. And it just shows either the team um, that he's facing having that little of skill 
or the fact that he's just getting away with murder. Either one of those things I disagree with because it's just wrong in every which way and not what something that the average player is going to face. I even asked my buddy that I normally play with, bro, what, what would happen if you were one shot up on a wall and you were facing two, three guys to your left? Oh, I'd probably get picked off from behind by Mida. Yes, you would get picked off from behind by Mida, Euros, anything without standing up there literally alive. So things like that bug me. And I want you guys to see videos from an average perspective. I'm going to do good with them. I'm going to try to. But that's going to be player based. But I'm not going to show you unrealistic situations where I like take a super and live and roll out of a super. And it's like, oh, how did that not kill me? I don't plan on ever showing that because that's not a thing that happens to me. It's not a thing that happens to an average user where we say, how did that not kill me? It's not that dude killed me because it was a super and it should have. It was a four hit weapon tap and it should have. But I want to do weapon reviews that you understand and that they work. I want to do armor reviews that you understand that they work for the whole PvP and PvE. I want you guys to really be immersed in the situation. I want to to respond to all the comments that I best I can, especially in my early years of doing this. I want to get on bandwagon of every time someone comments, I'm going to respond. Even if they're just responding with just melee, mocking me because I say melee instead of melee. Fuck you. But not <laughs> nonetheless, um, I, I enjoyed that the person commented that because a lot of people give me shit about that. Bro, did you just say melee? Who says that? I, I don't know. I do. I think I've always said melee instead of melee. I don't know why. It's a word and you know what I'm saying. Should I say smacking a bitch? Because I think that's all the same. Um, but hopefully you guys enjoy that. Hopefully you guys look forward to those videos coming up to where we have funny videos at least probably once a week and then we have our normal reviews and stuff to kind of grow the channel and I plan on bringing back horizon videos um here in the near in the very near future especially when this whole little expansion is out um just because that's one of my most popular videos on my channel i really enjoyed doing it it took a little bit of work but i enjoyed doing it uh it completely i love the game and i love uh, a few other games so i don't plan on only just being destiny but that's probably my hub because that's the game I mainly play. All right, guys, stay awesome. Please come back to the channel. I mean, if, if you can watch anything, please go check out. I did a video where I talked about the raids. It doesn't have many views, but let me know if you think it makes sense. You can brush through it and get the stages I'm talking about. Let me know if you agree. If you disagree, what do you think the real plot twist is in the whole big Destiny universe? Go back to one of my weapon reviews and let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about these real Destiny 1 kills in my old mini toys where the frames aren't even lined up, right? But the kills are really good. I think that some of them are completely badass and they're not over edited. It's just really good kills in a really good fashion. Let me know what you guys think because that's what's important to me. Stay awesome. Until next time, Deathstroke out.